Hey everybody, so today I am here to do the long-awaited Medela Pump and Style Advanced Breast Pump Review for you guys. I've had this Medela Pump and Style Advanced Pump for about a year and a half now, and <laughs> I'm way past being able to give my opinion about it, but it's just taken me a long time to get to it. I hope this is helpful for you guys. I made a video previously on my channel talking in depth about the breast pump reviews that I was going to be putting out and kind of explaining the criteria that I was going to be judging the pumps on, also giving some information about what to look for when you're buying a pump. So I'm going to list that video down below if you guys haven't already checked it out. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I will run down the points that I'm judging the pump on just really quickly. I'm judging it on price, function, and ease of use recommendations or reviews, portability and power options, accessibility to replacement parts and spare parts, customer service, durability, and noise level. So I have eight areas of criteria that I was going to judge them on, and this is what we got. So first things first, here is my Medela Pump and Style Advance, and I will be going in and changing between Medela and Medela. I know it's Medela, but I'm so in my ways to say Medela. I'm probably gonna stick with that. Anyways, this is what it looks like. This is the one that I have. This is the insurance provided pump. I'll get into what comes in with this pump here in a second because there are a ton of different combinations of pumps and accessories and stuff that you can get. I'll get into that in a second. So first things first, price. On Amazon, the most basic version of this pump I could find was $146.10. But I wanted to say, first and foremost, if you have an insurance that will cover a breast pump, which if you haven't looked into that, please do. Most insurances insurances have to now, so definitely look into that. That's saving you a lot of money. Now, if your insurance company does cover a breast pump, I would say 99% of insurances cover this breast pump. It is one of the most popular breast pumps out there, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's on your list of ones that are covered. If your insurance covers it, I would venture to say it's probably going to cost you nothing. I know sometimes they charge for an upgrade or whatever, but it should probably be free underneath your insurance. Like I said, with this breast pump, there are different versions, there are different accessories, there's different bags and stuff that you can get. There's a backpack version that comes with some accessories along with the pump. There's a tote version and uh, there's the version that I will have linked down below. Now what comes with the insurance provided option and the one that I'll have linked to Amazon is the pump itself. Obviously it's housed in this just kind of black, um, I would I think this is like some kind of waterproof material and then it has a handle up top. It has two cinch pockets on either side. It also has a little pocket right here. It comes with two hoses right here. It comes with a wall adapter, obviously. It'll also come with a flange connector, valve, membrane, and bottle. There should be a whole set of this for you. So two of these completely, but I just have the one just to show you guys, obviously. Now, I do know that some of the newer Pump and Style Advance have a different flange connector set up and that they connect up here now. I don't have that one. The flange that come with the Medela Pump and Style Advance standard is 24 millimeters. Now you can buy bigger or smaller size flange. I would definitely recommend buying off Medela's website just because they have like $2 shipping and the flange themselves are like 10 bucks. I think unless you have Amazon Prime, you can't beat that. So I would definitely just buy them off of their site. So as for function and ease of use, this pump is super straightforward. As you can see, it has a dial right here to increase the suction strength and the frequency. And then right here, it has a letdown button. That's all you really need to do to use this pump. As for the recommendations of this pump, online, I feel like it got really great reviews. I didn't find anything on the internet that had a lower than 4.7 stars out of 5. However, word of mouth, I feel like it gets about 50-50 reviews. Now, as for the portability, this is a rather small pump. I put this in my GGBB prepared quite frequently on my trips up to a children's hospital with my youngest daughter, and it fits in there very comfortably. As you can see, it's super compact. I do love the handle on it. Now, as for power options, like I showed, it does come with a wall adapter, but Medela does make their own car adapter and also a battery pack. So those are two options for you as well. I do personally own their car adapter 
works wonderfully. I think I got it at Babies R Us and price matched it for about $18. I know that's kind of expensive, but I was in a pinch and I didn't have a choice. So I just ran to Babies R Us and grabbed it. But I think I've heard of ladies just using generic ones from Amazon. I'm not sure how well those work. I've just obviously stuck with my Medela one and it's worked great. It also does have a really long cord on it. Can't speak to the battery pack because I haven't used that. As for the accessibility to spare parts or replacement parts, this is just easy breezy lemon squeezy. I feel like everywhere I've ever been, Walmart, Target, Babies R Us, wherever you may be, you're going to find replacement parts for this. They're also, I would say, pretty relatively reasonable depends on where you're going and also I did want to say babies are us runs a ton of sales all the time like buy one get one 40% off on breastfeeding or even just Medela products specifically so if you're in the neighborhood for wanting extra parts I would definitely wait for one of those sales because then you can get it even cheaper I will say that there is a third party company called Maymom they do make parts just like I've mentioned with my Spectra review that I'm not sure it I would venture to say it's probably likely that it would void your warranty using their parts, although it is easier for some people to get their hands on and it is convenient that it's on Amazon. They do make parts as well. As for the customer service, Medela customer service is amazing. As for the durability, like I said, I did have a couple that I had to send back, but I also do exclusively pump. You got to keep that in mind. I'm pumping in the beginning between 8 to 12 times a day. Now at almost 15 weeks postpartum, I pump around 8 to 7 times a day. Depends on how, how long. In my first pumping journey, I pumped for about 15 minutes per session. This time around, I'm pumping for about 30 to 45 minutes per session. So I'm on this pump a ton. This one has lasted me about, about six months so far. So it has been holding up great. As for the noise level, it can be pretty noisy. I will say that about it. It's not a quiet pump. Now, a couple extra things about the pump itself. It does have that two-phase expression that I've talked about in the previous video, and that two-phase two -phase expression mimics baby's natural sucking pattern. It's going to be really rapid at first, and then eventually it's going to be slower to draw out the milk. It also does have a cycle rate of 50 to 78, whereas a nursing baby has a suck rate of 45 to 55 times a minute. So it's going to be pretty effective for you. It is also an open system and it's only intended to be one user. Breast pump companies can't expect a lot if you're going to charge a lot for a breast pump. I feel like it's the same thing with car seats. I think that they should only be used by one person. However, when you charge one, two, three hundred dollars for said product, you really can't expect people to not want to sell it when they're done or for someone to try to get it cheaper for when they need one. Just kind of the nature of the beast when you're charging that much. As for my personal experience with the pump, I chose the Medela Pump and Style Advance when I was pregnant with Sophie just because it was the most well-known breastfeeding company that I knew of at the time and I felt like obviously they must make good breast pumps and that's basically what I made my decision on. I can't say that I've been disappointed. Like I said, I've had to send back a couple of pumps, but between their customer service, the reliability of this one, and just all around my experience with it, it's been great. I will say that I wouldn't recommend this for someone who may have sensitive nipples. It can be a little rough. I can see how people say that. However, I'm not sensitive in the slightest. I used it from the beginning and I really had no trouble with it. I really do like the suction power it has. It's strong enough to get my really stubborn clogs out. And this pump really is my tried and true. It's what I keep on hand. It's what I take with me when I'm traveling and I have to pump out and about because I know that this thing isn't going to let me down. But that is everything that I have for my review of the Medela Pump and Style Advanced Breast Pump. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.